Hi everyone, this is a B1 level lesson and today we're going to be talking about how to express your opinion. Okay, so see if you can think of five inventions that have changed our lives the most um, and choose inventions that have changed our lives in a positive way. Now we'll read these opinions and you can decide what you think of each one. In my opinion, the invention of the printing press changed the world forever. For the first time ever, ordinary people have insect access, sorry, have access to a lot more information. I believe that the most important invention was the telescope. We can see the universe as it really is and move away from myths and legends. I think the most important invention was antibiotics. Before antibiotics, people died from bacterial infections. Antibiotics have saved hundreds of millions of lives. And here are some other inventions that have changed our lives. The ATM, polymer banknotes, piggy bank, and credit cards. Um, and see if you can think of any others that changed money and finance. All right, now we're going to read this text about money and um, you can pause the video, read on your own or follow along with it as I read and then answer the questions. The first paper money was used in China in the 11th century. Since then, the world of finance has changed. Polymer money. Did you know that plastic-like polymer banknotes were invented in Australia? Polymer bills were first introduced in 1988, and I think they are an amazing invention. In my opinion, they have lots of advantages over paper money. For example, they are harder to forge, and they last at least twice as long as paper bills. Additionally, they are cleaner and completely waterproof. You can even put them in the washing machine, and they come out as good as new. So which verb means to copy something in, in a legal way? Well, that is forge. What is an advantage of plastic money? Well, they are harder to forge. Uh, they're cleaner and waterproof. They last twice as long as paper bills. And does your country use paper or polymer banknotes? In the U.S. we still use paper. All right, here's a very simple invention. Why is it a useful invention? Piggy banks. One of my favorite inventions is the piggy bank. You know what I mean by a piggy bank, right? Traditionally, it's a money box shaped like a pig. However, these days they come in lots of different shapes, such as other animals or cartoon characters, for example. I had a piggy bank when I was little, and in my opinion, they are a fantastic invention. I believe that they are a great way for parents to teach their children the importance of saving money. In addition, I think they are very cute and fun to use. So did you have a piggy bank as a child? How do parents teach their children to save money? And is it important for children to have a financial education? All right, giving opinions. We're going to look at the language used to give opinions. So here are some ways to introduce an opinion. It seems to me the wheel is the most important invention in history. In my opinion, electric light is the most important invention in the last 200 years. I believe writing is the world's most important invention. And I think the internet is the most important invention in the last 100 years. And here are some ways to support your opinions with examples. For example, polymer banknotes last twice as long as paper notes. As an example, websites use Predictive, predictive technology to make us buy more things. Additionally, piggy banks show children how to save money at a very young age. All right, so now we'll read about credit cards and answer the question. At the beginning of the 20th century, people paid for everything in cash. 
1950, an American came up with the idea of having one credit card to pay for everything, and the concept quickly caught on. In my opinion, credit cards have lots of advantages. For example, they are small and light, so, are they, so they are easy to carry. Because of credit cards, people don't have to carry cash. Carrying a credit card is safer than carrying cash. I think they will continue to be popular in the future. And what is the change that the author describes? Well, it's the change of people using um, stop people who stopped using paper money and or cash and now are using credit cards instead. Okay, inventions and discoveries bring change to our lives. We can describe the result of a cause and look at the reason or cause in these sentences. Because and since join two clauses in a sentence. Because of and as a result of are followed by a noun and a pronoun. So we have this timeline. Tim, computer scientist Tim Berners-Lee invented the World Wide Web in 1983. And then a little later, website, websites offer goods online. So as a result of the internet, people are now able to buy goods online. People are able to purchase goods online because of the internet. Goods can be bought easily online because Tim Berners-Lee invented the World Wide Web. We can buy most things easily today since the internet made it possible to shop without going to a store. All right, so now you're going to choose um, the correct word to complete the sentence. You can pause the video, try this on your own, and then restart when you're ready to check your answers. So today there is no need to carry cash since credit cards allow us to pay for items. In 2019, we were finally able to take a picture of a black hole because of Einstein's work in the 20th century. People are living much longer than 100 years ago as a result of advances in health and medicine. And let's see, as a result of the invention of the steam engine, trains eventually replaced horses to transport work goods. Soon there won't be a need to go to school since all education will be available online. Okay, Sabat talks about driverless cars, so we'll listen and put these ideas in order. One invention that has been in the news a lot lately is driverless cars. After appearing in science fiction movies for years, it seems that they may soon become reality. My understanding is that one of their main advantages is safety. Apparently, an incredibly high percentage of traffic accidents, something like 90%, is caused by human error. Drivers who make mistakes on the road or show poor judgment by getting behind the wheel when they're tired or on medication. In my opinion, it makes sense that eliminating factors like these would make our roads safer. Additionally, they say that driverless cars will help to reduce the traffic on our roads, so there will be fewer traffic jams. The idea is that if the cars are able to communicate with each other, this should help to keep traffic flowing more freely. This would be a huge advantage in big cities, such as Los Angeles or New York, which have some of the worst traffic jams in the world. In my opinion, one disadvantage is the technology that the manufacturers use. The cars will be controlled by computers, right? Well, we've all experienced computer glitches, or problems with viruses or malware. Who is to say that we won't have similar problems with driverless cars? I think we'll start to see driverless cars on the road in the next 10 years or so. However, 
I believe that it'll take longer for driverless cars to become a common sight. My belief is that they'll be too expensive when they first become available to the public. Personally, I would be interested in taking a ride in a driverless car, but I'm not in any hurry to buy one. Alright, so before speaking, Sabah wrote some notes about driverless cars. Uh, so you're going to listen and discuss the questions, which notes were an opinion, which notes provide examples to support her ideas, and which idea in her notes does she not mention when she speaks. So we'll listen again. One invention that has been in the news a lot lately is driverless cars. After appearing in science fiction movies for years, it seems that they may soon become reality. My understanding is that one of their main advantages is safety. Apparently, an incredibly high percentage of traffic accidents, something like 90%, is caused by human error. Drivers who make mistakes on the road or show poor judgment by getting behind the wheel when they're tired or on medication. In my opinion, it makes sense that eliminating factors like these would make our roads safer. Okay, let's take a look at the answers. So, which notes were an opinion? Um, well, here, where she says, good idea, that would be considered an opinion. Um, I think that's the only one. Um, which notes provide examples to support her ideas? Here, safety and tired, medication, people cause accidents. And which idea in her notes does she not mention when she speaks? Um, she didn't talk about elderly drivers causing lots of problems. All right, you're going to listen to the second half of Savaz's talk and take some notes because she'll be answering the questions below. In my opinion, it makes sense that eliminating factors like these would make our roads safer. Additionally, they say that driverless cars will help to reduce the traffic on our roads, so there will be fewer traffic jams. The idea is that if the cars are able to communicate with each other, this should help to keep traffic flowing more freely. This would be a huge advantage in big cities, such as Los Angeles or New York, which have some of the worst traffic jams in the world. In my opinion, one disadvantage is the technology that the manufacturers use. The cars will be controlled by computers, right? Well... We've all experienced computer glitches or problems with viruses or malware. Who is to say that we won't have similar problems with driverless cars? I think we'll start to see driverless cars on the road in the next 10 years or so. However, I believe that it'll take longer for driverless cars to become a common sight. My belief is that they'll be too expensive when they first become available to the public. Personally, I would be interested in taking a ride in a driverless car, but I'm not in any hurry to buy one. All right, so she, um, her opinion, she says, in my opinion, it makes sense that eliminating factors like these would make our roads safer. Uh, and then here again, she says, in my opinion, the disadvantage is the technology that the manufacturers use. The cars will be controlled by computers. And then I think uh, we'll start to see driverless cars on the road in the next ten, six, in the next 10 years or so. And then she says, I believe, so that's another opinion, that it'll take longer for driverless cars to become a common sight. And uh, the final opinion is personally she would be interested in taking a ride in a driverless car. Um, so all of these words, in my opinion, I think, I believe, personally, 
Those are what she uses to introduce her opinions. And the example that she gives, um, uh, they say that driverless cars will help to reduce the traffic on the road so there will be fewer tra tra traffic jams. That's one, and she uses the word additionally uh, to introduce that. Um, I think that's the only one where we she had um, an example. All right, so now choose one of these inventions and either write or speak about it, or you can make up one of your own if you don't like any of these. So you're going to choose one of these. First, you'll answer these questions. Why is the invention important? What was life like before this invention? What changes did the invention bring to people's lives? And were there good and bad results? All right, so then you're going to um, get your ideas in order and think about vocabulary and language that will help you. The first step, uh, You'll introduce your idea, and these are some of the um, words that you can use to signal your opinion. So, in my opinion, it seems to me, I believe, I think. And then step two is to introduce an example of your idea, and you can use, for example, as an example, additionally. And then step three, how, you, how will you respond? explain results and reasons. So that would be because, because of, since, and as a result of. All right, and then you'll put all that together. So you'll introduce the invention, express your opinion, provide an example to support your opinion, and explain the result of or reason for the invention. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Please like, subscribe, share, or leave a comment, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.